great barometer of how messed up Americans have become. Their most popular event is the Super Bowl, and they watch it because the commercials are so good. <laughs> America has reached its zenith of intellectual achievement. John, the television is the greatest mind control tool ever invented. The greatest propaganda tool ever uh, ever invented. Yeah, it, yeah it's they don't be. they don't call it programming for nothing. Well, I, I I got rid of mine six months ago, and my life is so much better. I'm listening to so much more music. I'm reading so many more things. I'm talking to so many more people. And I think television is the key for the alienation of America. Because hey. Hang on, we'll be right back after these messages.
All right, we're back. I'm talking with John Kaminsky. And, uh, John, you still with me? I like the music, Clayton. Yeah, that's, uh, that's my friend Carl Klang, man. Yeah, uh, he's, uh, he, uh, I, I want to have him on again. Uh, you know, another one of these people that's been putting, uh, psychiatric, uh, uh, hospitals and, uh, tried to okay. shut up and lock up. What's that kid? What's that? Tell me more about the kid. Oh, Donna Taylor's kid. Mark Taylor was shot at Columbine by Klebold, I guess. Yeah. He was shot seven times. And he lived. And he lived. I had Donna on my show. She was talking about you know how how they were talking and going on radio shows and talking about how the uh, Columbine shooters were drugged, right. and uh, she came by here to see me through Tucson. Her, she had her brother with her and uh, somebody else traveling with them. Her son, Mark, and so I got to meet them all. They stayed here for a couple of days, and she went up to Phoenix. And Mark got sick, and she thinks he was uh, poisoned by some methane in a place in uh, New Mexico they had stayed at. And oops, she uh, when she uh, when she stopped off in Phoenix, she took him to an emergency room at a hospital up there because he was sick, not feeling well. And they ended up keeping him there and getting a court order to put him in for uh, a minimum or maximum of 365 days. They had told her that she needed to get uh, a, a, an apartment here. She needed to have a residence here. And she did that, and they used that residence, which she only had for a few, uh, uh, a month, I guess, they used that to make him a resident of Arizona, and they've kept him. They've cut off all communications with her. They're drugging him again. They're feeding him Haldol, and this is what they did to me, John. They tried. They tried. They put me in the hospital, kept me drugged on Haldol and Halcyon for three months. Now they've been drugging him for a year. And and uh, you know I, my attorney told me man it's it's uh, it's a miracle you're up and walking and talking he said I've, I've I've had case after case of people really damaged by this stuff and they sued the drug company John DeCamp was their attorney I don't know exactly how that ended up uh, how that turned out. But now he's being held. I'm sorry. Go ahead, John. I'm not. Are you talking about the John DeCamp? Yes. Really? But he won't take her case now. Evidently, they uh, they really came down on him hard. So she's, she's got no money to hire an attorney. I don't have any money to help her. We're trying to raise some money. I, I am working right now to do to put her story down in a real intelligible form. And, and I'm going to submit that to major newspapers, major magazines. Uh, I'm actually doing a query about what's happening to her because it's so important that this story gets told quickly, very quickly. She needs to raise some money. She needs some donations to raise some money to pay the attorney. I found the attorney that was handling Edgar Steele's case, and Edgar Steele is another case of the ADL, or Southern Poverty Law, sending somebody in, you know, they, they sent a guy in, a, a, an informant in to Edgar Steele, and the informant stole $40,000 worth of silver from him, then went and told the FBI that uh, Edgar paid him, gave him that to, to, to try to kill his wife, and he planted a couple of bombs in their cars. He was trying to actually kill them. And and suddenly, 
Edgar's in jail, charged with trying to, to hire a hitman to kill his wife. Her, uh, the, the attorney that they got originally, was on my show, is the attorney that I found for Donna Taylor. But, uh, you know, we got to raise the money to somehow to get it. And, and that's... The, the, are you still with me? John, are you with me? Okay, CJ, I lost John. Okay. All right, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to iterate. The, uh, we've got the attorney. He said it's criminal what they're doing to him. It's criminal. He also asked him about Southern Poverty Law. He said they're a hate organization. They are a hate organization. They keep trying to spew in this up. They're, they're calling the haters. They're, they're calling us haters. They're the haters. It's, uh, you know, kind of like the old story, you know. You, uh, you slap a man and then you start screaming with pain. Okay, let's see what uh, what we're doing here. John, have we have we got John back yet? Okay, we've lost John. It's funny how that happens sometimes. Okay, we'll try to bring him back here in just a second. I don't know how we lost him. But, uh... All right. Donna Taylor, we'll try to... We're trying to help her. We're trying to get the lawyer. We, we only have about a week to do it. We only have about a week to do it. And we've lost, uh, I guess we lost John Kaminsky. <sighs> Folks, we've got books. I've got books. The Mystery Babylon covers a lot of the information that we've talked to, uh, we've talked about here with John Kaminsky. Mystery Babylon has Operation Watchtower in it. It has the Homeland Security Assessment and much more. It's got the whole history of the Rothschilds, they're they're meddling in the in, in America's political system, economic system, and uh, my friend Carl Klein had it right. He had it right. He said, you know, if you uh, if you got your very own printing press, you can print your own money up. Pretty soon, you can buy up the whole neighborhood, and that's uh, that's what's been happening. We bailed the banksters out, and they took your homes. Over one million Americans lost their homes. Over one million. And more. More are going to lose. Family farms, they're gone. They've are, they're already going overseas, over in the desert in Dubai, in Saudi Arabia, they are setting up the corporate farms again. If they can control all of the food, then they're going to control all of the wealth. Because you're certainly going to give your gold to them to get their your food if you're starving, aren't you? And they're going to let a lot of people starve. That's what they did in the Ukraine. That's what they're planning on doing here. That's just why they, 20, 15 years ago, 15 years ago, fifteen years ago, they started the genetically modified crap, Terminator Siege. So you have to buy the seeds from Monsanto to keep it going. Now they've 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 expanded on that. They are actually putting the rat poison, the Roundup, the uh, uh, 
right in the crops and rats won't eat the genetically modified cheese or the genetically modified corn now there's an answer folks we really do have an answer and they've anticipated that that's what S510 is about that's what uh, Codex Alimentarius that's that's what uh, that's why they're spraying the chemtrails on there your crops are being coated with aluminum and uh, your cancer rates are increasing your heart disease is increasing your diabetes is increasing why because you're not getting the unit they're actually starving you while they're feeding you that's what the McDonald's is doing for you all right what do we got left here we got about four minutes remaining and uh, Okay. Okay. If you go to freeamerican.com, I'll, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you another little shameless plug here, folks. My books, the Trevor Cameron Terrace Hunter series. I wrote that a few years back, and I added a future sequence to it a few years afterwards. And those are the books that are available right now. Yeah, they're fiction. But what I wrote about as fiction, and what I wrote about as fact eight years ago, is what they're talking about on CNN right now. My fiction is up there with Robert A. Highlands, Isaac Cashmoff, and it's actually going to get better. We're gonna I'm gonna have more with the Lucifer Legends. The Legend of Lucifer. That's just a working title right now. But I started writing forty years ago. That's that'll be available. But three of my books are available right now. And four of my films if you haven't seen the true face of FEMA, you need to see that. All of the all of the latest ones uh, that that have been done, uh, we've told you about. You know the FEMA camps and all that. I told you about that over eight years ago when I filmed the first Homeland Security meeting. You can get all these on my website, freeamerican.com. I urge you to do that. First of all, it'll help support this show. And uh, second, it'll give me the ability to keep helping people like Donna Taylor, keep bringing you people like John Kaminsky. And uh, David Koss was on my, I urge you to go watch his videos. You got links to them on the website. All the all of the people that I have on got links for them. All right. God bless America. I'm out of here. all set up here and recording has been completed thanks for listening god bless